Hey, what's up? Justin here, and welcome back to 65 Drums. I'm really excited about today's video because we have a brand new kit to unbox, set up, and start playing. So a few months ago when I was at Winter Nam, I got a chance to play a bunch of different drum sets from the company Muzio Drums. And they actually reached out and said, we wanna send you a review unit. So a bunch of boxes arrived in the mail. So let's go see what's inside the box. Okay, so believe it or not, it's almost been a week since I initially unboxed the kit and set it up and played around with it for a little bit. Life just got in the way and I haven't gotten a chance to do legit recording of it until now. So here is some really quick playing footage and then I'll give you some of my thoughts on the kit afterward. Okay, so this video is definitely not a review, but I thought I'd tack on some quick first impressions at the end of the video here. The full review is coming in like a month or two when I really get some quality time with the kit. This thing is actually a real acoustic drum set that they've made into an electronic kit. These aren't like terrible cheap wooden shells that you could buy for $400 somewhere. These are actually legit nice shells. If I put acoustic heads on it, it would sound decent. As far as the trigger setup, it looks like they're using three trigger cones, like an ATV style trigger setup. I'm not gonna take off the drum heads yet. That's more like for a full review to see what's inside of it and all that fun stuff. I love the way it looks, that black to natural wood grain fade. Looks freaking sweet, and they have all kinds of different color options on their website as well. Now, if you're thinking about buying one of these kits, be prepared to have lots and lots of stands and clamps because this is what they come with to mount all the toms. It's nice because this is a ball joint and this is a memory lock right here, very convenient, but you somehow have to mount this to like your cymbal stands and stuff, or just buy a dedicated drum rack to house everything. For me, I have tons and tons of snare stands, so I'm literally using three of them right now, one for my snare, and then the two floor toms, and then the high tom, I'm actually using one of these mounts 
connected to like a cymbal stand of some kind that I have lying around. Another thing to mention is that you really do need to use that kick drum piece of hardware. The thing that raises it up and you connect your pedal to the hardware and then the hardware then connects as the middleman to the kick drum shell. I thought that was just like an optional add-on, but you actually do need it to be like that because the input jack for the kick drum is underneath of it. So if it's not raised a little bit, then you won't have any room to connect a wire to your drum module. The mesh heads are all three ply mesh heads. They're pretty bouncy and they're made by the same company that produces the Billy Blast heads or the Bliss Tech mesh heads. The last thing that I wanna mention, and this is the most important thing in the entire video, these shells are very finicky to set up with your drum module for the first time. So you're gonna to have to find a pad preset that works for whatever shell you're working with, whether or not that's a PD-105 or whatever kind of pad you find that works. And then you're gonna to have to make a drastic adjustment to the rim head adjust inside of your trigger settings. So if your drum module doesn't support that feature, rim head adjust, then you probably should not buy the shell pack. So with the TD-17, I think it had a rim head adjust from one to 80, something like that, and I set it to one. So I was getting a clean feed between the rim and the drum head. Whatever it is about these pads, the rim signal just is not very strong at all. So you need to crank up the rim gain and then really swing that rim head adjust so you're getting a clean rim signal when you hit the rim and a clean drum head signal. Stay tuned for the full review and I'll give you more thoughts on it after I spend more time with it. So overall, had a lot of fun with this so far and we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in a few.